Hello everyone and welcome back to our series on JVT vulnerabilities. Today we will discuss an interesting attack called the JVT crack attack. Now you might wonder how cracking is related to JVTs and why this topic is important. Well, JVT cracking is a type of brute force attack where hackers attempt to break the secret key used to sign JVTs. So if hackers successfully crack the secret key, this would enable them to craft forged JVTs which then can be used to bypass authentication measures. Needless to say, this is very serious. The target of this attack is symmetric JVTs. Unlike asymmetric JVTs that use separate keys for signing and verification, symmetric JVTs rely on a single key for both operations. So if this key is weak or guessable, attackers can then easily compromise the entire system. There are several powerful tools that can be used to execute the JVT crack attack. For instance, Hashcat, JVT Tool, or John the Ripper. In this video, we will use Burp Suite and Hashcat. So to demonstrate this attack, we will solve a Portswiggle lab titled JVT Authentication Bypass via weak signing key. So the objective in this lab is to brute force the website secret key. And once we have obtained the secret key, we want to use it to sign a modified session token that gives us access to the admin panel. Our ultimate goal is to delete the user Carlos. Alright guys, so according to the description, we need to use Hashcat in order to crack the secret key. Now to do that, we need to input the following seemingly cryptic command. So let's break it down. The first argument, dash A, stands for attack type, and it is set to zero, which represents a so-called word list attack, meaning that we are brute forcing the secret key using a word list. Next is the dash M argument, which stands for hash type, which is set to a super cryptic value of 16,500 which actually stands for JVT. Then we have a placeholder for our JVT, which we will capture using Burp Suite. And last, we need to input the path to our word list. I have downloaded a list called rockyou.txt, which contains passwords that were previously leaked in data breaches. All right, guys, as you can see, I have logged in as Wiener Peter. So let's navigate to home slash admin. And before we press enter, let's turn on the intercept. Press enter. There you go. Now we have the JVT here, but let's send this request to the repeater just to view the values of the JVT. Uh, and then we will be using the JSON Web Tokens extension. And here we can see that the subject is set to Wiener. All right. So what do we need to do now? Uh, now we have captured the JVT. Here we have it. So what do we need to do? We need to do the following. Let's take this command right here and we navigate to Hashcat. We paste it. There we go. Let's input our JVT. Paste. And now the last thing that we need is uh, the path to the rockyou.txt. In my case, I have it under documents. Documents uh, .txt. All right, so now it seems that we have everything we need in order to perform the attack. So let's press enter. All right, guys, as we can see, we managed to crack the secret and the secret is secret one. So now we have the secret key. What do we do next? Well, we can navigate to the request that we captured. Let's expand this one right here. There you go. What we need to do is we need to change the subject to administrator. So let's do that. And we need to recalculate the signature. All right. And we can do that now since we have the secret key, which is secret one. So now we can send the request and see what happens. All right, guys. Now we can see that we have essentially logged in as an administrator and we are able to delete poor Carlos. So that means that we have succeeded with the lab. In this video, we have learned how to crack JVT secret keys using Hashcat, and we have explored the process of forging JVTs to bypass authentication. If you found this information valuable and want to support my channel, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.